Hello, my dear friends. Today I'm talking about what is predictive astrology. This branch of astrology relates to natal chart anyway, because no event in our lives has the ability to manifest if it's not supported by our natal chart. For example, if there is a trine between Venus and Saturn in one of the predictive techniques, a person that has no relationship between these planets or has a challenging one won't feel full benefits of this aspect. Everything found in predictive techniques has to be confirmed in a natal chart as a possibility. Every single prediction made has to be found in and confirmed through three predictive methods to be considered correct. As astrologers, we are here to promote free will and help others understand their path and their responsibilities. If a person understands they are in control of events in their life, they might be ready to truly make a change and shift their consciousness. There are many predictive techniques, for this branch of astrology has been approached from numerous angles and used for centuries. Curiosity triggers matters of foretelling, and a time point in life almost every individual wants to know what the future will bring. When speaking of the future, we have to remember that in some situation it is quite easily predicted even without a chart of any kind. Simple human logic can often provide answers to some of the questions that come our way. Still, if we decide to become professional astrologers, it is not our job to use personal experience or guess what will happen, but to use charts as guidance for events and specific explanations of possible outcomes. Commonly used techniques include transits, the solar return, perfections, progressions, directions and harmonics. We also know that each planet rules a certain period of life. And in general interpretations, this can give a shade of the state a person is currently in. To cover all matters regarding timeline of events in life, we must have knowledge on the speed of each sign. In some situations, horary astrology can serve to be a very good tool for predictions. It will give us specific timelines to questions. Cardinal being the fastest of all signs will speak of events that will take place soon. In short time, units such as minutes, hours, days or weeks depending on the form of the question and actual possibilities. Multiple signs will follow as changeable and pretty fast, but not that drastic and obvious. Their timelines will cover timelines for days, weeks, months, and sometimes years, if this would be a moderate expectation for the specific situation. Fixed quality is the slowest of all. It takes time and represents wider areas on its scale. When we see a planet set in a fixed sign, we know it will manifest slowly, in years, even decades, or sometimes months if this sounds long for the event in question. No matter which predictive technique we choose to use, or if we observe slowly moving planets, or personal, fast ones, every event has a peak when its manifestation is actually probable. This peak will never be connected to the time after significant aspects already took place. Distant planets, especially Uranus, Neptune and Pluto, will give a general atmosphere even when they pass the moment of the exact aspect which another celestial body of importance. But triggers to events will always be in close application to an aspect when the event is to take place. Positive aspects will bring as many events as negative ones.
and we can feel some of them more strongly than the others, simply because we are personally linked with them in our natal chart. This always gives a fine balance of good and evil in our lives. You have to understand, where is good, there is also evil. They are together and the mastery of the situation is to make peace between them. The tricky thing is to realize that there are no bad experiences or situations. Each of them is simply a pointer on our path and a reminder that we might be in the right or in the wrong place and always at the right time. When we are in complete balance with our mission in life, challenges will become smaller and smaller until they fade and the universe will be happy to support us on our path. This means that we arrived to this balance between good and evil. I wish you good luck to find this balance in your life. See you next time. Bye-bye.